Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the side quest, A Trip Through History here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So to start this quest, you want to head just southeast of Central Hyrule down here in the Kakariko Village. You guys can see where I'm located here on the map. And we're going to be looking for a guy with a backpack that'll be walking around in this area. Anywhere on this path, you will be able to find him as you work your way into the town. I found him standing here by this tree. Again, he's going to look like this with a backpack on. And all you want to do is speak with him about the ruins and he's going to start the quest for you. So the first thing you want to do is head southeast of Central Hyrule down here where I've placed a star on your map. It'll be just east of the Sahazra Slope Skyview Tower and there'll be a little circle right here. So you'll know exactly where you need to be. And once you get here, it'll look like this. You're going to have a couple goblins that are hanging out down here that you'll need to take out. And once you take those guys out, if you come right over here in this little back room area, we're going to have a book on a table. You want to examine this book and then we'll be able to move on to the next location. Now, our second location is going to be found also just southeast of Central Hyrule over in the Kakariko Village. You guys can see right here in Lantern Lake. This is kind of the area that we want to be in. You can come over here and take the Skyview Tower once again. And I'll show you guys as you're flying in, you're going to see this giant rock structure here on my left. You want to fly towards this as there's going to be little wooden ledges that are hanging off the side. You guys can see them down here with some tents. We want to fly right over here to these tents and we want to go to the far back one that's got the bluish greenish cover. And if you drop down right here on the table, right on the right is going to be another book that we can examine. And this will be the second part of the quest. Your third location is going to be really close by to the one we were just at. You guys can see it'll be right up here on the East Hill. Just to give you an idea, I'll show you where I'm looking is currently where we just got our second location. You can see the tent off in the distance. All we did was fly across to this hill where we have another giant structure. And all we're going to do is follow this little path that leads into the structure. And in the back corner over here, you guys are going to see a table. And on this table is going to be our third book. So go ahead and read that. And we'll move on to our last location. And your fourth and final location is going to be found down here, just southeast of Kakariko Village. You guys can see we have some more ruins right here in this area. And once you get to these ruins, all we're going to do is head into the back room. You guys can see just up the stairs here, we're going to have another table. We can examine this book and that will be all four book locations. Now we just need to go back and speak with the guy. And once you return to the village, you can speak with the guy and tell him everything that was in all four books that we just found and you will have completed the quest. But if you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.